Hey guys, it's Shadow here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're showing you guys some new hidden cut maps for Halo 1 on MCC. So, the most recent MCC update was a really huge one. Uh, the Halo 1 mod tools got a few new maps added to it thanks to the dig site team. Uh, there's a little hidden dig site folder in the tags folder of the mod tools, and in that folder comes with several maps. So, let's get right into it and take a look at what those maps are and what they're like. So these maps are all cut and never actually released, obviously. And the first one is called Dusk, as you see here. It's an asymmetrical map, and it's uh, it's pretty big actually. You could probably do like a BTB game on this. And it's a uh, like I said, it's asymmetrical. So there's one side with a base that has a uh, above ground structures, but also has like these underground tunnel structures that you could probably use to sneak into the base or uh, camp in there or whatever. And then the Upper area is just mostly the base itself, and on the other side, just a little valley for the other team to spawn in. So it's a pretty interesting map. Uh, it's kind of dark on the map, but that probably is why the name of the map is called Dusk. Uh, and just to show you real quick, the skybox on this map is huge. Like, this is not playable area, but uh, I did just want to point out that it is pretty huge. The playable area is just the map itself. Uh, next up, we have a map called Indoor. Now keep in mind, these are just like the the map like working names, like they're not actually, they probably wouldn't have been the official names had the maps actually released. So this map, you know, the name Indoor is probably not going to be like, it's probably not what the final name would have been. Uh, but anyways, this map obviously takes place on an indoor map and it's, uh, I believe it's probably like some ship or uh, UNSC base, but it's a... Uh, it's a pretty interesting map. It's kind of a maze, actually, but it, it is, I think it is symmetrical, or at least it's, it's close to that. You could kind of see like the layout here and there, but the map, it is definitely a huge one. And if you don't have like a lot of players playing on it, you're going to have trouble finding each other. It's not as bad as that Chiron map, but it is, uh, it is definitely sizable and definitely, uh, a lot of a lot of areas to like move around on it but nonetheless it's an interesting map and it, it's actually a pretty complete map actually like it looks pretty finished and polished it's it pretty much is like so far like both maps that you've seen so far i could say like they pretty much are good to release almost it's too bad that they were cut from the final game but i'm guessing there were like time and maybe like size constraints for the the release but anyways next up we have the map ruined plane and this map, it's, uh, well, it kind of reminds me of, I forget what it was called in Halo 2, maybe it was called Foundation or something like that, uh, or something else. I, I'm totally drawing a blank, like, please correct me on that if I'm totally wrong, but I, 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 I'm, I think you guys know what I'm talking about with that Halo 2 map. It looks kind of similar to this, at least outside. Uh, but anyways, this map is also another pretty sizable map as well, and it has a lot of interior sections. This like area here, this shaft, this tunnel, whatever, it's a, uh, well, I'm not sure what this was meant to be used for, but I, that part doesn't look fully complete, but the rest of the map, it looks like it was, it was getting there. I mean, you could, you could definitely see like it could use a little more polish here and there, but as far as how complete the map is, it, it was, uh, yeah, I, I'd say like it was, it was almost close to completion or close to being finished. There were probably just a couple more things that had to be, uh, changed on it. But nonetheless, it, it is a pretty, pretty big map, and I could see this being used for like kind of like a multi-team map, even, uh, or uh, it's definitely at least the, another BTB map because a lot of, a lot of huge areas and a lot of like interior sections as well that you could go to. Uh, so the next map we have is called Spasm, and this map may look familiar to you if you've uh, played some of the dig site releases on Steam Workshop, uh, specifically the crash site. Uh, release and that's because this map was the one used for a crash site and this map is huge like <laughs> btb is not even like it, it, it's too small for this map this map is definitely meant to be used for like that campaign mission that we got in the crash site demo and uh for multiplayer it's this map is definitely too big for that <laughs> like you, you could try btb on this and maybe 
if everyone has like vehicles, it could be suitable for BTB because the map is pretty huge. Uh, but there's also an interior section, which uh, adds more playable areas as well. But like I said, this is probably meant to be as like a campaign level, not actually like a multiplayer BTB level. But, you know, with some changes here and there and with uh, a lot more vehicles added to it, you could have like a huge vehicle BTB playground on this. Uh, but speaking of a vehicle playground, there is a second variant of this map called Spasm Playground. And what Spasm Playground is, well, it's basically the exact same map as Spasm, except all of the dig site uh, weapons, vehicles, and characters are added to this map. So you could use it as a, well, playground to test everything out. So I'm not going to go too in-depth in covering this right now because I'm, I'll be doing a couple other videos covering the new stuff that was added uh, a little more in-depth. So just wanted to show you guys really quickly what this map is in general. But it is just the same map but with uh, everything uh, added to it. <laughs> The last map here is called Swamp Thing, and this map, well, it may look familiar to you as well. Uh, I don't think it was used in any demo on Steam Workshop, but it may look familiar to you because uh, it reminds me a lot of the Halo 2 map Backwash, and I'm pretty sure the map Backwash is probably inspired by this, or at least based off of this, because there's a lot of similarities to Backwash, or rather, Backwash has lots of similarities to this. So. I'm guessing this map was one of those maps that were cut and didn't get realized again until later because it has a central structure here like a central spire building that's just like the one from backwash and then it goes further out but this map is obviously a lot bigger than backwash from halo 2 so i'm guessing in halo 2 they remade this map but just uh you know based it on this but just kind of kept the center part and then made the outer parts a lot smaller and Basically, this is definitely like a BTB map, but with Backwash and Halo 2, they made it more like a like a smaller free-for-all or 4v4 map, something along those lines. But I, I would say like Backwash was definitely inspired or based off this map, kind of like a uh, finished version of this map, so to speak. But it's, uh, it's otherwise a pretty cool map, though. And once again, it looks like a pretty complete map as well, pretty finished. But unfortunately, it was never released in the final game of uh, Halo CE. Neither Xbox nor the PC version. So yeah, there you guys have it. Those are all the new dig site maps that were added to the official Halo CE mod tools uh, for MCC. And uh, it's definitely a lot of cool maps that uh, you can now test out for yourself. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, then as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, Leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think about these maps or if there's anything else you want me to look into or explore on these maps. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.